Ciao and welcome back to the Catspec YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex Badamozzi and I'm one of the AC application engineer here at Catspec. Today it's going to be tip day. What are we looking at? Let's jump right in. The Autodesk software that we're looking at today is AutoCAD for Mac. So I need to give you a little bit of context to understand when to use the tip that I'm about to show you. So you're working on this big project, you've got multiple contractors involved in the project and you're waiting for one drawing to be able to then do your own part, but you receive a PDF drawing, not a drawing file, a DWG file, but you receive a PDF. So what happens is that you normally send that across somewhere in the net and then that gets converted into a DWG file, which you can then read in AutoCAD and you start doing this. So tip number one, you can actually do that straight from AutoCAD and that's how you go with that. So I'm opening up AutoCAD. I am then now moving into my import tab and I'm choosing the location where I've saved the PDF. So click that and I'm picking up the file. Okay, I'm importing it and what AutoCAD does it, like, it analyzes the PDF and it converts all the vector lines, let's say all the PDF lines into a DWG file. Here's the window you get. The settings are fine as they are. All you need to do is to say okay to that and then AutoCAD will do its own magic instantly. So I've got my file, this is my PDF. I can navigate, I can have a look at it. But the only trouble is if I check the distance from this building column to the opposite one, I should have roughly 12 meters, but if I check that now, <laughs> I have got less than 2 millimeters. So what happens is that normally I have to use the scale tool, scale this in a way that I get the right factor and everything is done. So we know how the scale tool works. The scale tool is on my left hand side in the modify panel. Again, a small tip here is I'm going to move my face. If you want to reorder these panels here, what you can do is you can simply click that reorder panel, the window pops out and you can simply drag and move wherever you want things to be. Simple as that. So I'm going to close that and I'm looking at the scale. So escape, scale tool. And then what I want to do is I want to do a cross selection from that corner to the other corner. And I'm saying yes, enter. I'm confirming that. Now I want to specify the base point to be able to use our scale to a reference. So I will, it doesn't really matter. In this case, I can pick that one as my end point. But now if I look at my command line, it's asking me specify scale factor or copy or reference. What we want to use is the reference. So I will do my right click. This will depend on how you've got your trackpad or your magic mouse or your mouse set up. So all you want to do is to pick reference. If I look at what's coming up close to my cursor, I've got specify reference length one. So if I look at the corner, let's say, where that dimension has been placed, this will be my first reference. So that's one. And my second point will be the opposite one. So if I move across, where did that come from? So I can simply snap at that point and then type in the value that we're seeing, which is 12056. So if I OK that, that's been our second point. And now I can type in the real value, which is 12056. If I press enter now, <gasps> everything disappears. But what happens is that AutoCAD has done a massive job of scaling it to our reference. And this is it. So it looks all the same. But what happens is that if I use my measure tool or my inquiry tools, so let's get back here and I use my inquiry tool. So I want to see the distance that we've got from that snapping point to the opposite. And that's exactly what we want, which means if I was to do a cross check, I can see that we've got a measure there, which is roughly 40 meters, let's say 40900. This is where I'm looking at. I can use again my inquiry tools, do something really quick now. Inquiry check from that snapping point, and I'm coming all the way across down to roughly there. And even without clicking, I can see that precisely I'm at 40892. So I'm I'm a little bit short. But what I'm telling you here is that you can use this to be a starting point on your project. 
the best way forward is obviously get to site, do a proper check with your laser and make sure you're happy with those dimensions. Once you're happy with that one, then it's just a matter of using the stretch tool to adjust and make everything as it needs to be. So remember that there's no right or wrong way to use AutoCAD. There are multiple ways of using this tool. It's all down to what you prefer and what comes easier for you. That's it. So a quick recap is we imported a PDF. We have the PDF, which was not scaled. And then we use the scale to a reference, which is part of the scale tool to be able to scale the drawing in the correct way. Hope you found that useful. If so, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching and see you next. Bye.